I think that we are here essentially to let go of our, well, not, I mean, to, to be in the ego, but for the ego to serve our consciousness rather than our consciousness to serve our ego. So it is important. We, we wouldn't be able to operate in the world if we didn't have a sense of me and you. But at the same time, how do we do that thing where we see ourselves, feel ourselves, experience ourselves as something larger? Um, Thich Nhat Hanh, the, the Buddhist monk, um, has a, a wonderful uh, Buddhist community in Southwest France, Plum Village, which we also took students to, once said that Maitreya, the, the, the coming Buddha, the next Buddha, may not show up in the form of an individual, but rather might form, show up in the form of a community. And when I first heard that, I got goosebumps. I'm like, wow, what would that look like? What would an enlightened community look like? What would, what would our experience be in community if that if that invisible space between us became the foreground of our experience and each of us as elements of that community, each of us as separate ego became the background. And that to me is what drives all of this. That to me is why I'm so excited about eco villages because as, as much in process as they are, to me, they are these cauldrons of that experiment of saying, how do we, see ourselves as something larger. I, I've had the, the privilege of serving as the president of the Global Eco Village Network for the last few years. And I, I freak people out sometimes when I say, look, as passionate as I am about eco villages, about the Global Eco Village Network, these, this isn't my purpose. You know, this isn't what I'm here about. What I'm here to do is how do we manifest that love in the material world? And for me, eco villages are perhaps the best form that I've found to really do that. To say, how do we put these potatoes in a pot and shake? And, and how do we uh, help ourselves and each other really evolve in the way that I think we're all here to do?